Well, Bullseye, we're back in Buffalo. After that, uh, pretty ridiculous outing that just happened. And I feel like I'm going to return to my room. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to sleep on what just happened. And when I'm fresh in the morning, we'll head out again onto those roads and try to track down that track down that bandit uh, camp that we weren't able to find yesterday or the day before when our horse got uh, horse got pilfered so let's let's try this again here if I remember correctly McCall said the dead oak posse's camp is just up the road so it can't be too far from where we are now now, the question was, which road? Is it this road past the train? I don't think so. We already did check the signs on this one. Although I don't think there's going to be a sign that says Dead Oak Posse is there. So maybe, maybe their camp was around that wagon? that we uh... that we liberated let's just take a peek up here let's take a peek up here maybe the desert is confounding my confounding my senses oh here we go dead oak so this must be the way to their camp I got my rifle at the ready dead oak posse ahead well that's that's mighty nice of them to leave a calling card like that Bandits, turn back now. <laughs> Alright, girl. It looks like this might come to some shooting rather quickly. So I want you to be careful so you don't go the way of Carmel Girl. You stay right here. It's perfectly safe tying you up inside the bandit camp. Don't worry about that. Hoping you step into the campfire. There's the one I was afraid of. The rest of them I'm not too worried about. What's this? A treasure map? Oh well. Perhaps I can follow this and beat beat them at their own game. We got some of their emeralds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Blew him right out of his britches. So I have to clear out this whole camp, do I? But it does seem like they keep coming back, more and more of them. Let's get up here for some cover. Once I shoot one of them, they're all going to come running. Two bandits down. One's hiding out behind that tent there. There's another one hiding out behind the tent, behind cover. This is what you get for being a bandit. Oh, I knocked his gold tooth right out of his mouth. Squeal like a piggy, bandit. No good wasting good ammo. Alright, I've done it. I've cleared out the bandit camp. Let's report back to Edgar McCall and let him know that we've done it. While we're on the way, we can search for this here treasure, which seems to be 
among three cactuses. Can't rightly tell if we're getting closer or further from it at this point. Alright, we're not anywhere near it yet. Nope, we're not anywhere near it yet. Is there anywhere where we see three cactuses on the horizon? We'll have to keep our eyes peeled. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled like fresh grapes. But for now, we're heading back to Buffalo to let Edgar McCall know that we completed our mission. The Dead Oak Posse is no more. They won't be bothering anybody for quite some time. Hopefully not now, not ever. Alright. Let's tie you up here, Bullseye. And let's go read the next part of our story. Edgar, I did it. And I also got a uh, treasure map. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have told you that. I should keep it for myself. Anyway, let's talk about what to do next. Why don't you tell me a little bit about... Uh, about your next mission. It's done, sir. The Dead Oak Posse are no more. Could you maybe stop talk walking back and forth? You're making me a little bit dizzy, Edgar. Very impressive. I'm glad to hear you had such success. And my payment for removing them? What about it? Um, how about you... After you stomp out the next hideout, I'll even pay extra. You said you would pay per gang hideout. I've already finished one. Here's the proof. Don't worry, my dear boy. I'll pay even more. Fifty emeralds, in fact. Just do the job first. Fine. What is the next hideout? I want you to eliminate the Crow Hill gang. To do this, you'll need to use a TNT cart. Really show them that we mean business. Uh, where can I get a TNT cart from? There should be one in the old rail construction shack just outside of Buffalo. It's along the rail lines. Take the minecart, push it along the track, then bring it into Crow Hill and blow them up. So you want me to just drive an explosive train into Crow Hill and then blow up the whole town? I guess that sounds like a plan. I'll do the last one, and then I demand my payment. Oh well, yes, son, of course, of course you'll get your payment. And by the way, um, I thought you were using a gun instead of a bow. Oh, that's right. I must have picked this bow up from the last mission that I was on. Let me put it away in my pocket for a second. There we go. See? I'm still using my rifle. No big deal. I'm resourceful in that way. So, the old rail construction shack just outside of Buffalo. Hmm. I think it means that there. I think that's what it means. What are you doing to my horse? Get away from my horse. This isn't a this isn't a peep show. You can keep your coal or your emeralds. I don't need I don't need them. All right. All right, let's go bullseye. Let's go find the construction shack this way. And see if we can't find the mine cart that was that was predicted. Sur surely we can. Now, I didn't have the heart or the foresight to tell Edgar McCall that I've already been to Crow Hill and wiped out the gang, but I did want to try and blow it up anyway because I think that would be of interest to uh, discouraging further banditry. So let us proceed in this manner. Oh my goodness. The minecart needs another push. 
Yo. Here, here, here. Are you coming, minecart? Oh my goodness. There we go. Minecart. There we go. Come on. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Am I going to have to push you all the way to the end? Uh oh. The whole town's going to blow. Oh my gosh, Bullseye, you saved me just in the nick of time. Now, Bullseye, you stay right here. I'm going to inspect the damage done and see if there are any if there are any uh, other consequences to our action. It looks like we did a really good job of taking out these bandits. Alright, let's head back. Let's head right back to where we came from and report in on our our success. Now I wonder how bad it would have been if I would have put that minecart on the wrong rail track and blown up a different city. I guess I'm going to put that thought right out of my mind as it really isn't uh, isn't something I wanted to contemplate right about now. Well, I'm here. Now what? I blew them up. I'm ready for my payment. Hmm. Huh. What shall we do about payment, Mr. McCall? You seem to be at a loss for words at this point. Let's see. Um, okay, I successfully blew up the town, and earlier I fought off the gang members. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder if there's anyone else that, uh, well, this is rather awkward because I was supposed to come back here, but Mr. McCall, I think you've cheated me. I think it's fairly obvious that you're playing games with my services, and I need to check the camp north of the town for some reason to see if there's any other last bandits there. Uh, before I claim that this mission is a complete success. So, I have immeasurable patience because, after all, I am just a uh, wandering, wandering cowboy mercenary at this point. So this, I think, is the camp. Uh, what did... what... shoot, 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 shoot. I think this is the camp that I'm supposed to check out next. Now, okay, you know what, Bullseye? I don't trust you near an open flame. So I'm going to hope hope that you... Oh, okay, here we go. Let's, let's put you over here. Don't run into that cactus and don't run into the open flame, Bullseye. This is a test of your horsey... Bra not bravery, don't bravely go there. This is a test of your horsey smartness. Are you a bandit? You're... What? You want ghost elixir? Oh, for an up... Oh, flint and coal. Well, that is... That is something worth talking about now, isn't it? All right. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? After wandering aimlessly in the desert, I, why was I wandering aimlessly? I was on a mission, but okay. I came across a campsite. Excuse me, ma'am, my name's Daniel Wade. I'm sorry about calling you sir a moment ago. Howdy, I'm Amanda Ramsey. What can I do for you? I'm looking for buffalo. Even though I know it's right over there, I'm trying a pickup line. And I'm asking you if you know where it is from here. Ha <laughs> ha! How sweet of you. You're going in the opposite direction, actually. Well, that figures. What are what's a pretty bald gal like you with a big nose doing out here, if you don't mind me asking? 
I do mind. And I'm out here because I'm a trapper. I trap for furs in the mountains. And then I come down here to sell them. I'm famously known for my beaver. You're... Oh. Oh. I see. Well, you're not from here, are you? I think I've heard about your adventures in Denton. You mean from five years ago? Well, that's a pretty big rumor mill. Well, anyway, I'm here to find those responsible for my brother's death. I'm working for Edgar McCall right now to get the supplies that I need. He's not one to be trusted. McCall Railroads have been here a while, but Edgar is new. No one seems to want his civilization. So it seems. Say, I'm looking to get some of that fancy ghost elixir that wagon has over yonder, but those bandits are guarding it. You don't say. And you need me to get it, don't you, beaver lady? I can pay good money for it, and I know you need money for weaponry. Well, I guess. I guess I'll see what I can do, miss. And maybe you'll share that beaver with me. Alright, Bullseye, you're going to stay here because the wagon's just off here to the west. I could, I suppose, go into a nearby town and just purchase the ghost elixir, but it seems like that would be contrary to, uh, to actually earning money. Anyway, I'll bring it back to her. Oh, it's starting to storm. What I really need to purchase is some, some blooming onions. No, some, <laughs> some, um, torches that can light up places like this. Ghost elixir. Whoa, there's quite a bit here in this wagon being guarded by bandits out in the middle of nowhere for some reason. But, uh, okay. I'll bring it back to Miss Amanda Beaverhausen and see if, uh, I should have asked her if her last name was Hug and Kiss, by the way. So she's willing to trade for emeralds. Well, how much, how much of the ghost elixir do you want? Is two enough? Oh, you've got quite a nice little rifle on you there, ma'am. I bet you're a pistol if you know what I mean. All right. Well, th thanks for picking up the elixir, Daniel. Oh, she's fluttering her eyebrows at me. I should have told you earlier, but I was just in Buffalo, and your employer seems to have hightailed it out of there. Oh, are you kidding me? He flew the coop? You've got to be kidding me. I knew that was going to happen, or something like that. Nope. Looks like he cheated you out of your money. I told you McCall was not to be trusted. Why would he have me clear out the bandits? Damn, I was suspecting something off, but I wish I had known that earlier. I also know that McCall Railroad is completely linked with Redstone Mining Co., and I know you have a history with them. That's right. Now you've got my attention. I need to go and end this now. You've killed a lot of people for revenge, Daniel. These gangs were really railroad workers, rioting against McCall's low wages. Which is exactly why I need to stop McCall. <sighs> My path is clear now. He used you to do his dirty work, and now nothing is stopping the Redstone Mining Co. I hate being used. Except me and you, darling. We need to find them and put a stop to this together. Right, but we'll need those supplies you were trying to get. Well, let's put our two bald heads together and come up with a plan. Tell you what, if you can collect two charcoal and three flint powder, I can put together something that might help. Talk to Henry Knight, the gunsmith in Wheeler, for supplies. He owes me anyway. Wink, wink.